Hey guys, it's Aaron. Later on this week, we have a video coming out from Trilogy Partners and their presentation at Basecamp. They do a lot of big custom homes and really cool models. They do a lot of uh, custom textures and materials. Good stuff. You'll want to check that out if you do any kind of home building or home design. One of the things they do real well is they actually have multiple people designing in a single model. They do this using, well, that's what we'll take a look at, is how they go about that process. Um, in order to do this, uh, I'm going to have to bring somebody else in because you can't collaborate with yourself, really. So that's when we get the hand from Josh Riley. Hey, Josh. Hey, Aaron. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this model I downloaded from 3D Warehouse, and I'm going to take a section of it, a room, and pass it over to Josh and have him help me design. So we're going to jump in and do that right now. So in this model, I don't have anything broken apart right now as components. So what I'm going to do is start by taking the surfaces that make up this room and I'm going to select all those pieces and make them into a component. Once they're all selected, I'll just right click, say make component, and I'm going to make sure that replace selection with component is turned on and I'm just going to call this living room and I'm going to go ahead and create it. When I create that, it creates a component that is inside the model I'm working on right now, which is good. But what I need to do is I need to get this out and hand it off to Josh. So I'm going to right click on the component and I'm going to say, save as. From here, I'm just going to save this out to my desktop. Now I can take that file, which is an SKP outside of this model, hand it off to Josh and he'll be able to open up and work on it just like he could any other SketchUp model. Okay, so I've got this file from Aaron. You can see here it's named livingroom.skp. Uh, and we'll just take a quick look and see what I've got here. So we've got some walls, and Aaron would like me to just toss some stuff in here uh, to give back to him. And so what I'm going to do is open up a... I've got this file here ready to roll from the 3D Warehouse. So someone else made this, which is nice. And there's some stuff in here that I want to throw into that model from Aaron. So we've got some couches here, some tea on the coffee table, some tea and cookies there. looks pretty good. Let's grab some stuff here. I'm just going to click around and grab these few things. Maybe this cabinet back here. And hey, I like that elk uh, photo there. So I'm going to grab all that stuff, do just a copy, go back to this model, and then do a paste. We'll go to a top down view and maybe scoot these in the right position here. Maybe rotate them around a bit. Let's do 90 and then move that cabinet over on that uh, left side there looks like a good spot for it yeah it looks pretty good and I think in this case I'm gonna turn my perspective off go to parallel projection as I move things around a bit more so it looks pretty good and let's move this into place and do another rotate 90 this way and that'll be a good V1 for this Let's turn our perspective back on and you know what I think we need some bigger cookies here these are a bit small let's jump in here and we'll scale these up yeah that'll be better I think Aaron will like these larger cookies and just to make sure Aaron's paying attention I think I'm actually gonna change the wallpaper more of a test just to see if he's paying attention so let's let's sample that right there and apply this to the walls just a subtle change to the walls nothing nothing crazy and I think I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna do uh, I could do a file save here and just send Aaron the same file with the same file name but I think uh, it depends on how you manage your files um, an option could also be doing a save as which is what I think I'd rather do here and do an underscore and maybe JR could put the date there too uh, changes to the downloads and then I'll just save this with a little bit of a file name change just so it's really obvious that this is a new file. So file save, and now I will send Aaron this SKP file. All right, so I just downloaded the file that Josh sent me, and what I'm gonna do in this case is select the existing component. So I'm picking on the living room that's in here now. I'm gonna go over to my component browser, right click, and click reload. So I could reload the same version I had before, but in this case, Josh actually put his initials on so I know which file is his and which one is mine. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Josh's file and click open. 
and without having to do anything on my part that will automatically update with all of Josh's changes. Whoa, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Josh. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be picky. I mean, I'm not not a, a interior designer or anything, but um, it seems like maybe there's some changes we didn't discuss yeah, here. I didn't tell you about one of those changes. Yeah, these cookies are way bigger than I remember them in the original yeah. meeting we had. So I figured you'd be okay with that. Well, if something's gonna change, I'd like it to be the cookie sizes. So that'll <laughs> that'll work. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys like that. Um, if so, let us know down below, leave a comment, like, subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get notified when the video for Trilogy Partners is released on Friday. But most of all, let us know what you thought of the video. You like this collaboration thing? You like how these skill builders are going? We like making these videos, but we like it a lot more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.